Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the term path of contact. Again to study the engagement of mating gear, this is very important term. So let's start with the definition. Path of contact is path traced by a point of contact from the beginning to the end of engagement. So I'll repeat the definition. Watch the video carefully. Path of contact is path traced by a point of contact from the beginning to the end of engagement so here in red line we have the path of contact it start from the beginning and it is up to end of engagement so let's discuss a particular term length of path of contact now what is length of path of contact it is common normal cut by addendum circle of mating gears length of path of contact is the common normal cut by addendum circle of mating gear so here we have let us say this is our common normal and this is the addendum circle of gear 2 and this is addendum circle of gear 1 so common normal cut by addendum circle of gear 2 right here so here is the a point and this is the common normal cut by addendum circle of gear 2 so this is the end point so this a to e distance become length of path of contact or in short it is called as line of contact so we know that length of path of contact is a common normal cut by addendum circle so by using of some mathematical concept let's derive this equation for length of path of contact for that i'll draw one diagram over here let us say this is the center line for gear one and gear two now let me draw a base circle for gear one and base circle for gear two now let's draw the common normal which is common tangent to the base circle so here is the common normal cut at point P that point is the pitch point so let's draw the pitch circles for both gears so here is the pitch point and this green circle is represent pitch circle for gear 1 similarly let's draw for gear 2 circle which passes from the pitch point called as pitch circle End. let's draw the addendum circle so here I'll draw the addendum circle by using of this red line this is addendum circle of gear 1 circle drawn from the top of the tip and now for gear 2 let us say this is the addendum circle for gear 2 now see what is length of path of contact this is our common normal say mn cut by addendum circles so here is the one cut that addendum circle of gear 2 cut a common normal at point over here and here is the second point where the addendum circle of gear 1 cut the common normal at this point so these two points are the represent point of contact at the beginning to the end of engagement let us say named as k l ok now just join this point l with center o1 again this mn is the perpendicular from point o on common normal mn is the perpendicular from point O to on the common line. Again, join this K with O2. Okay, this is the required construction to 
formulate length of path of contact. Now see here carefully, this TT is the tangent passes from the pitch point. So angle between the tangent pass from the pitch point and common normal is nothing but the pressure angle. So I'll put over here, this angle is pressure angle. Now let's find out this angle M O one P. So to find out this angle, let's construct one simplified view of this previous figure. So here is the point P. This is common normal. Here is our center O one. This is perpendicular from O one on common normal. This is common tangent from pitch point P and angle between common normal and common tangent is nothing but pressure angle. So this angle is phi. Now this angle is 90 degree. So it becomes 90 minus of phi. So again in triangle O1MP this is 90 minus 5 this is 90 so what remains is 5 so angle m o 1 p is the 5 so let me write angle m o 1 p is 5 now in similar way we are going to find this angle n o 2 p n o 2 p for that again we are going to draw this a one simplified view. So here is the point P. This is common normal. This is a perpendicular line from O2 to common normal. Okay, and we need to find out this. Angle. Now we have this angle is pressure angle because this is a common tangent passing from the pitch point and this is your common normal. So angle between common tangent and common normal is the pressure angle phi. So this total is 90 degree. This is phi. So it becomes 90 minus of phi. Now again in this triangle O2 and P this angle become 90 minus 5 this angle become 90 so what remains is 5 so here we get this angle M O2 P is pressure angle equal to the pressure angle that is denoted by 5 now let's consider the pitch circle radius of gear 2 is capital R so each circle of radius of the gear 2 is capital R and addendum radius of gear 2 is capital R A okay in similar way for gear 1 each circle radius of gear 1 is small r and addendum circle of gear 1 is small r A suffix A Okay, so let's find out the radius of base circle of gear 1 or we are considering gear 1 as a pinion. So to find out base circle of gear 1, see this construction, this O1M is nothing but the radius of base circle of pinion. Okay, so we need to find out O1M. So see this triangle O1M. P. In this triangle, OP is what? OP is radius of pitch circle. So OP is R. Okay. So we can find out by using of this R and cos of phi. O1 M become OP cos of phi is equal to OP is nothing but R cos of phi. 
Similarly, let's find out the radius of base circle of gear 2 or large gear. So again, let's consider this triangle and O2 P. In this triangle, O2 P is what? O2 P is the radius of pitch circle and O2 N is the radius of base circle. So O2 P is nothing but the R and by using of this uh, phi, O2 N become O2 N is equal to O2 P cos of phi. So it is O2 P cos of phi. So we know that O2 P is R cos of phi. Similar way uh, in triangle O2 N P. So see this triangle O2 N P. What is P N? P N become O to P sine of phi because it's front edge. So P N is equal to O to P sine of phi. It is equal to R sine of phi. And in triangle O1 M P see this triangle O1 M P M P become O1 P sine of phi. So for M P we can write O1 P sine of phi. So it becomes small r sine of phi. Now what our ultimate goal is find out the length of path of contact and that is nothing but the this distance k l. To find out this distance k l we need to find out this k p plus p l which is 1 is the path of approach length of path of approach and this PL is the length of path of recess so let's find out this length of path of approach first and for that we need to consider this triangle O2 K O2 K N now see in this triangle O2 K N this is perpendicular angle so by using of Pythagoras theorem we can write O2 K square O2 K square is equal to O2 N square plus K N square so we are considering this triangle in triangle O2 K N. So in triangle O2 K N this is perpendicular. So O2 K square is equal to K N square plus O2 N square. N square. So we can write in this way K N square is equal to O2 K square minus of O2 N square. Okay. So Kn is equal to under root of O2k square minus of O2n square. Okay. Now see this O2k is what? O2k is radius of addendum circle of gear 2. See O2k is radius of addendum circle of gear 2. So instead of O2k we will put Ra square minus of what is O2n O2n we have already done this calculation O2n is equal to R cos of phi so O2n it is R cos of phi bracket square so we will get Kn is equal to this term now see this Kn carefully Kn is what it is this length and we can able to calculate Kp by using of this Kn so Kp become Kn minus of Pn so let me write that Kp is equal to Kn minus of Pn so we know that Kn is 
आर स्क्वेयर माइनस ऑफ आर स्क्वेयर कॉस स्क्वेयर फाइव एंड व्हाट इज पी एन वी ऑलरेडी डन दिस कैलकुलेशन पी एन इन दिस ट्रैंगल ओ टू एन पी पी एन इज द फ्रंट साइड एंड हेयर इज द एंगल फाइव सो पी एन इज नथिंग बट द आर साइन ऑफ फाइव वी ऑलरेडी डन दैट सो आई डायरेक्टली पुट हेयर आर साइन ऑफ फाइव सो हेयर वी गेट लेंथ ऑफ पाथ ऑफ एप्रोच के पी इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वेयर माइनस ऑफ आर स्क्वेयर कॉस स्क्वेयर फाइव माइनस ऑफ आर साइन ऑफ फाइव लेट इज से दिस इज इक्वेशन वन सिमिलरली लेट इज फाइंड आउट लेंथ ऑफ पाथ ऑफ प्रिसेस दैट इज पी एन एंड टू फाइंड आउट दिस पी एन वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर दिस ट्राइंगल ओ वन एम एल अगेन इन दिस ट्राइंगल ओ वन एम एल let me write o1 l is equal to c in this triangle this is right angle triangle right angle is over here so o1 l by using of pythagoras theorem o1 l square is equal to o1 m square plus m l square okay so i'll rearrange the term m l square is equal to o1 l square minus of O one m square. Okay, so m l is equal to under root of O one l square minus of O one m square. So see what is O one l? O one l is addendum radius of gear one. That is small r a. So let's put that value under root of small r a square minus of One p is the adjacent edge, so it is r cos of phi. So it is r cos of phi bracket square. M l. Now we want actually a p l. Now by using of this m l, we can able to calculate p l. So how it is m l minus of m p. So let's write. P L is equal to M L minus of M P. Now M L M L we know already. That is under root of R S square minus of R square cos square phi minus of M P. Now M P is the in this triangle it is front edge, so it is R sine of phi. We already done again this calculation R sine of Fine. So let's put this value of M P. So we'll get the P L. Let us say this is equation two. Now see, we get path of approach and path of recess. So path length of path of contact K L is equal to K P plus P L. Path of approach plus path of recess. So let's put the value of K P first. It is capital R A square minus of R square cos square phi. Minus of capital R sine of phi plus small r square r square cos square phi minus of small r sine of phi. Again, let's combine these two terms, so we'll get r a square minus of r square cos square phi plus under root of Small r square minus of small r square cos square phi. My, let's take the minus common from this term, so it becomes capital R plus small r sine of phi, and this is final equation for length of path of contact. i hope you get the concept just using of simple mathematical geometry of two mating gear will get length of path of contact here we finish the topic length of path of contact now let's move towards the gate question read the question and try to comment answer thank you